Combining masking techniques with unique brush patterns uh, can create some pretty cool looks. I was using this image for another tutorial and I figured I'd show this technique in a short little tutorial. I'll provide the link on the bottom of the description there so you can download it yourself if you want to follow along. Basically we have an image like this. You just cut out the background with the selection tools. Uh, I'm not going to go over that in detail. That's another tutorial you can check out on uh, cutting out backgrounds. So that you have something like this. All right. So you just have a transparent background and the individual there. What you can do is create, once you have this open and you have the person cut out, go to create new layer at the bottom and drag it below this new layer up here. So you'll have a blue background like so. And all you want to do is uh, ignore these two layers up here because those are just other examples I'm going to show you in a second. But all you need to do is add a layer mask right here. It adds a layer mask in the bottom layers palette. And then if black is your background color, just press Control Backspace or Command Delete on the Mac. And if it's your foreground, just hit Alt Backspace or Option Delete on the Mac. Now what that does is it masks out everything on that layer. So we need to paint the individual back in so that they'll show through. All right? And the cool part is where you can choose custom brushes. So if you go to, for example, DP brushes, there's this tree one that I'll show you in a second. But that's at 461 pixels, the tree, kind of one that looks like tree branches. Um, you can go to wet media brushes, the one I used for the first example I'll show you. I'll go ahead and use this one. Just go to 54. This one that's right here. Default size 54 for me, but you want to open the brushes palette and you want to change some of these options. Just go to window then brush. So shape dynamics, the size jitter, I'm going to make it 100% and minimum di diameter 0%. Angle jitter at 100%. And then the um, roundness jitter, I'll do 100% as well. But the minimum roundness, I'm going to go down all the way to 1%. All right. Scattering, um, I just a little bit, like 153%. All right. And the count, I'll keep it four. So once we have those settings in there, go back to the layers palette and make sure foreground is white. Wherever we click, this mask is, uh, we're going to remove part of that mask so the person shows through. So if I click and drag, they'll show through. And so you can kind of be creative with this if you're creating a brochure or maybe promotional material. Um, it kind of has a cool little effect. You could use this for portraits like this or even landscapes. Uh, I'll show you a couple of other examples. This is the example from earlier that I did. Same exact brush. All right. And you can paint black in there if you want to, uh, you know, bring some of the mask back and then, but paint white where you want area to show through. Another example I did, he almost looks like he's got made of tree down here or kind of branch look. You can use this again for portraits or landscapes or just regular feature photos, any kind of feature illustration that you might want to uh, create. And you can even combine some of them as well like that. All right, thanks.